using BTNX urine drug test strips as a harm reduction tool. What's in your drugs? Accidental overdose is the number one killer in people under 50. In the United States, it is estimated that over 50,000 people died in 2019 as a result of fentanyl-related overdose. That is more than all the people who died in the Vietnam War. What has changed is a drug called fentanyl is getting mixed into the street drug supply. Fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more powerful than morphine, and a little too much can be fatal. While fentanyl is yet to be a large problem in Australia, the New South Wales government has already issued warnings of cocaine and methamphetamine being contaminated with fentanyl in 2020. So how can you protect yourself? First off, use the buddy system. Get high with a friend and take turns so that if one of you overdoses, the other can help. Perinarcaine, also known as naloxone, the drug that reverses opiate overdose. Despite what some fake news reports have said, there isn't narcaine-resistant fentanyl. Narcaine is an opiate blocker and fentanyl is a synthetic opiate. Period. End of story. How can I find out if fentanyl is in my drugs, you ask? Did you know that you can use urine test strips to see what's in your drugs? It's quite simple and no, you don't have to pee on them. Let's say you have some drugs you are going to inject. Prepare your shot as usual, making sure to use a sterile, never use before cooker, as well as a sterile syringe. Draw your shot into the new syringe and set it aside. Now add a little water back into the cooker. You're going to test the residue. Open a test strip and make sure to hold it by the top. Dip it into the cooker and keep it there for about 15 seconds. Afterwards, lay it across the top of the cooker and wait for the results to appear. They happen pretty fast, usually in less than 30 seconds. On to the results. One line is positive for fentanyl and two lines are negative. The drawback is unfortunately they don't tell you the percentage of fentanyl present, but knowing is half the battle. Why is it important to know? Because an educated consumer is an empowered consumer and you can make an informed decision. If a test is positive, you have options. One. You can shoot half back into another sterile syringe, which may not only be life-saving, but also cost-effective. Two, you may even choose not to do it. Or three, some other option you may come up with that we didn't come up with here. Remember to go slow, because once it's in you, you can't take it out, and you can always do a little more later. If you're not an injector but sniff your drugs, you can empty the contents of your baggie and add a little water to the empty bag and test the residue that way. If pills are your thing, you want to crush and mix them first. Fentanyl does something called chocolate chipping. When pressed into a pill, it tends to bind to itself, so you want to mix them first and get the best results. After testing, you can snort it, shoot it, or mix it into a beverage and drink it. A negative test doesn't mean there isn't fentanyl in your drugs. There may be one of the analogues that the strips didn't test for. Here's what we know so far. We know that superior quality test strips like the rapid response strip work for many different fentanyl analogues. So once again, go slow because remember, once it's in you, you can't take it out. Fentanyl test strips can be purchased from Drug Policy Australia's shop at www.drugpolicy.org.au forward slash shop. And did you know we also sell reagent drug testing kits so you can see if what you've got is actually what you paid for. Stay safe and know what's in your supply. Reproduced with permission from Van Ash's St. Anne's Corner of Harm Reduction. Special thanks to UA Morrison for artwork and animation.